Be because of that perspective you have, perhaps you might be able to explain what, why do you think Israel is doing it and why do you think, uh, what do you think Israel gets from doing all of this? Well, I think the motives uh, Israel had, and this uh, uh, attack was planned months ago. Bush knew all about it. Uh, this idea that it was a surprise is a lie. No, I think Israel's done it for three reasons. First of all, they wanted to take advantage of the last few days of President Bush. Secondly, they have an election coming, and the leaders of Kadima and the uh, Netanyahu and so on thought that they would be more likely to win if they were more... Uh, uh, warlike and hostile to the Palestinians. And thirdly, the Israelis were severely defeated in the Lebanon two years ago, and they wanted to avenge their defeat. So I think these were the factors that decided the timing. But in a few days or weeks, I think most Israelis will realize that it was a very, very foolish thing to do. And if uh, Israel can be defeated in Gaza, that will transform the situation. And if a new American president takes a different view, as I hope he will, to talks to Hamas and so on. But you'll notice that everything I say has a note of optimism in it. Because at my age, I can't wait. I, 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 if I weren't an optimist, I wouldn't do all the things I do. I've been outside the Israeli embassy four times this week. I've done... Uh, meetings I'm out tomorrow morning and this is what keeps me going so I have to believe and I do believe that the if the pressure mounts we shall win quite quite cold for an 83 year old in the in the London call just just finally uh, t Tony Ben uh, the media coverage press TV's bureau in Gaza was bombed in the past few hours do you think the Israeli population and populations in uh, the United States uh, their uh, Part of the reason they support what's going on is um, very much to do with, with the media coverage. I know you're a member of the National Union of Journalists. Yes, I think that's right. I mean, the media coverage in Britain, the BBC coverage, has been very, very bad in the past. They always talk about everyone who's killed by the Israelis is automatically a militant. The definition of a militant is you've been killed by the Israelis. And uh, at the same time, in the last few days since the Israeli aggression has come, the coverage from the Gaza has been amazing. I've never seen it before. And uh, you see the children who've been killed, the schools, the Islamic University, you hear things that have never been told before. Now, in America, uh, the Fox News and all that just pump out Zionist propaganda all the time. But I'm not sure that... Uh, American opinion now in the new era is necessarily going to be in favor of uh, continual wars in the Middle East. After all, they've lost the war in Afghanistan, they've lost the war in Iraq. Thank God they have not been able to get uh, an attack upon Iran, which many would have liked. So I think that this message is spreading a bit. And the Internet, the world of, uh, you know, computers and the Internet and email means that for the first time in my life, I have access to information that 20, 30, 40 years ago I would never have known. I know what American opinion is and what um, Palestinian opinion is, and I can read it all. And, and so I think this is uh, the real revolution has been the information revolution. And so Tony ben, uh, the thank you very dominance much. by the media may not be as powerful as it was. We're going to news in brief. Thank you very much, Tony Benn.